Maybe Herschel Walker's, you know, working overtime out here, you know? I don't know. Dana Loesch says she don't care about the skanks. Are, I mean, do you want my opinion? Or you're listening. Not a damn thing. Talk about Herschel How Walker. Many times have I said four very important words? His, his abortions. These four words. Abortion. Winning is a virtue. What I'm about to say is in no means a contradiction or a compromise of a principle. And please keep in mind that I am concerned about one thing and one thing only at this point. So I don't care if Herschel Walker paid to abort endangered. I, why do I have the urge to say yes, mommy? Yes. <laughs> That's just baby eagles. I want control of the Senate. <laughs> if the Daily Beast story is true, you're telling me Walker used his money to reportedly pay some skank for an abortion and Warnock wants to use all of our monies to pay a whole bunch of skanks for abortions. And yes, when they're used predominantly over 99% of birth control and it's my taxpayer dollars, you have invited me up in your business and I will use whatever descript I would like to. Thank you. Seriously, that woman missed her calling if she if she's not out here like stepping on men's balls and shit. You live in sexual anarchy. He's absolutely made for it. <laughs> does not care about the hypocrisy at all i wish these people could feel embarrassment they do not feel embarrassment and she's doubled down on it she is doubled down on. we're gonna read from the daily wire here apparently the view had some shit to say about her right Oh, here we go, here we go. If the Daily Beast story is true, you're telling me Walker used his money to reportedly pay some skank for an abortion and Warnock wants to use all of our monies to pay a whole bunch of skanks for abortions. First of all, ma'am, there's a lot of women who find themselves in a position of having to have an abortion. How dare you call them skanks, first of all. Ruby's right there. Let her have it. And I believe the whole point is that Walker is saying, I believe that this is murder, I believe that, and has paid, supposedly, for women to have abortions. That's the point. If, you're gonna, if we're going to have these discussions, please stick to them. And not go off calling people names. Because I'm keeping calling you a name out of my mouth because it's not the right thing to do. Now, right. it just exposes the, the moral rot that's taking over my party. Like, I, listening to that, I can't, can't defend that for a second. There, I, in, as a pro-life woman, to hear someone else like Dana, who is pro-life, call women who get into situations where they need abortion skanks is just shameful. And I will not defend that. So apparently, Sonny Hostin also chimed in on the I just wonder, situation. what do Republicans stand for? You have Dana, who used to be the, I think, the spokesperson for, for the, the NRA. NRA. And so she's the spokesperson for the NRA. She's a spokesperson for freedom. She's a spos spokesperson for the AR-15. We should be allowed to, to kill life with that. Yet now also she's saying women that have abortions are skanks and that it's okay to have that abortion if your man is paying for it. What do the Republicans stand for? I mean, it just seems to me that no, there was a time when it was really easy to define conservative principles. You've mentioned them many times. Anna has mentioned them many times. Sarah has mentioned them many times. Limiting the size and reach of government, reducing taxes, strengthening national defense, and holding firm to traditional moral values. What the hell was that that we just saw? I mean completely mask off like i've known the republican party was like this for at least 20 years you want to hear what anna navarro said I hate it when women 
attack other women. So if he, uh, if she's calling the wo the woman who got the abortion, the woman he's the women he sleeps with, with which are many. Because he's Is got, he married? I thought he was married. Uh, he's been married. He's been, been, been married. Uh, okay, but here's, married. here's the point no. I'm making. So it's not an affair. Okay, if they are scared. If you could uh, perform abortions with guns, they'd be for it. By the way, there was a mass shooting today or last night in Florida. Just another day in mass shooting USA. Skanks, then what are you suggesting, ma'am? That we send the man who sleeps with skanks to the U.S. Senate because his judgment is also good? Are we letting him off scot free? Anna just because has a point. he's running for Senate? And we're going to put all the blame on the women, which is, I think, a very shameful thing to do for other women. Listen, this is the bottom line. This is not the Republican playbook. This is Machiavelli. Yeah. This is yeah. war. Yes. This is the art of war, and this is for the whole enchilada. Probably the race in, in Georgia could very mm, well determine enchilada. who is in charge of the Senate, whether it's a Republican majority leader or whether it's a Democrat majority, majority leader. And that means setting the entire agenda. But what so, is the... Let's go over uh, what Dana Loesch had to say back. She said, first of all, Whoopi Goldberg, I refuse to coddle or celebrate irresponsible women who use abortion as birth control. I'm right. So get over it. That you're angrier over that than murder speaks volumes about your character. I don't even know what that means. Oh, and Alyssa Farah, good to know you find an honest description of females who use abortion as birth control more heinous than actual murder. Thanks for showing you're willing to put lives on the chopping block if it means the left will validate you. That's what Dana Loosh, Donna Loosh, had to say back to Whoopi Goldberg. I don't think she makes any fucking sense whatsoever. I wish these people could feel embarrassment.